Mari. Welcome to All Levels Yoga class. This is your practice, so take it at your own pace. My name is Anne. It's my honor to be guiding you in my studio today. Um, today we're going to focus on breath as we practice and simply to think of the poses as containers containers that you land in and you explore and feel and experience through your breathing. Let's begin. Come into a comfortable seated position and then either close your eyes or soften your gaze. Breathe in and out of your nose And as you do that, take this moment to feel into your body, to think of your body as your container for your life force or your spirit, and then just feel into it. Notice if there's any areas of tension or tightness or sensation. And then also notice the areas that feel ease or lightness. Notice the rise and fall of your breath in your body. Think of your breath as a doorway or a window that you can walk into or go through whenever you want. Press down through your sit bones. Inhale, lift right up through your crown. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. And come back to breathing in and out of your nose. If you practice with ujjayi breath or ujjayi sound, you want to cultivate that right now. For those of you that are unfamiliar with that, it's a soft constriction in the back of your throat and it creates an audible sound like the wind. So hopefully you can hear mine, I'm exaggerating it. So that sound, if you practice with that through the next half hour or so, it'll give your mind a place to anchor. to your heart as you set your intention for practice and let your intention be personal and meaningful so maybe it's what you want to connect with and that could be as simple as your life force as the breath or maybe there's something you want to let go of or maybe you don't really have an intention you just know you're here and you need to get into your body that would be enough We'll open practice with an OM, done on exhale. Take an inhale. Oh. Open your eyes if they're closed. Let's come on to all fours. We're gonna do a yoga flow. So starting in table pose, you can always bring a blanket underneath your knees, but you don't have to. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale into a dog tilt and take your shoulders away from your ears and just feel that in your spine. And then as you exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, round into Halloween cat. Inhale back into dog, and exhale into cat, and do a few more of these. It gets your synovial fluid moving in your spine, but it also links movement and breath together. 
So when we say flow, that's really what we mean. We mean link, linking movement and breath. Very simple. Nothing too fancy. Some people like fancy yoga. I'm into the simplicity these days. And then let's come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under. We're going to go into downward dog with bent knees. Tuck your toes under, fan open your fingers, hug your elbows in like you're holding a yoga mat, a yoga block. And then on exhale, lift your hips. Let your head rest between your arms. You can shake your head out. Rehug your elbows in, bend your knees, but press your hips to the sky. And then you could slowly straighten out your legs. Uh, walk feet a little bit closer together. Down dog split, left toes reach back and up. And on exhale, flow your left knee forward. Set your left foot down. You could come onto blocks. You don't have to have blocks at all to practice today. Um, this is a lunge. We're gonna take a twist. Bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. You could work with a fist or a flat palm. Inhale, left arm to the sky, relax your neck. Breathe in and out of your nose. And then take both hands to the floor and step back into downward facing dog. Relax your neck. Hug elbows in, down dog split, right foot reaches back and up. Press into both hands evenly. Float your right knee forward, set it down. Inhale, come into your runner's lunge. And then on exhale for the twist, set your left hand down under your shoulder. Inhale, right arm up. Press through your back heel. Bring both hands to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Exhale into forward fold. Knees can be bent. To come up, raise your toes, bend your knees, hug your navel and fingertips circle out and up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that in a flow. Raise your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms come into prayer, bend your knees, roll down your spine. Step your left foot back, runner's lunge, and then on inhale, ground your left hand, raise your right hand to the sky. Take an exhale here. Hands come down to the floor, inhale, step back into high plank, hug your elbows in, Knees can get set down. Let's exhale, bend your elbows and lower. Inhale into a cobra. Press feet down, thighs down. Elbows come in close to your ribs. Pull your shoulders back and down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your left foot back and up, down dog split. Exhale, float it forward. Hold the float for a moment. Hold navel in. Set left foot down. Bring right foot forward, exhale into fold. Raise your toes, bend your knees, inhale, rise up mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, palms together, bend knees, roll down your spine. This time, step right foot back, bend front knee. Inhale into a twist. It's your left hand to the sky. Set your hand down and step back into plank. Lower on your exhale. Cobra or Bhujangasana. Again, shoulders back and down. Tuck toes under, down dog. On exhale, right toes reach up on inhale, down dog split. Exhale, float forward. Lightly set right foot down, left foot comes forward. Exhale, fold. Raise your toes, bend your knees, inhale. All the way up, drop your tailbone, drop your shoulders, hands to your heart. Let's do that one more. There's two sides. So inhale, forward fold, exhale. Left foot steps back, right hand to sky, inhale. Step back on exhale. Take an inhale and plank, lower down on exhale. Inhale into your cobra, maybe it's an up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot reaches back and up. Exhale, float it forward, set it down. Take an inhale. Exhale, right foot forward. 
Inhale to mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Focus on breathing. Link breath and movement. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, empty your breath out. Right foot steps back. Left hand to the sky. Inhale. On exhale, bring your hand down. Step back into plank on inhale. Lower down on exhale. Inhale into your back bend. Pull your shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Spread your toes. Exhale, float forward. Hug navel in. Set right foot down on inhale. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale to standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Bring a hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Breathe and feel. So you just did a little bit of flow. You just want to take it in. Let's do a sun B. Feet can come together for chair or they could be hip distance apart. Raise your toes, shift your weight back on your heels. Inhale into chair. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back to high plank pose. Knees up or down. Keep your navel hugged in as you lower. Inhale into cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. For warrior one, step your left foot forward. Bring your right heel down. Bend your front knee. Inhale, come up into warrior one. You may want to bring your palms together and look up or a little back bend. Hands come to the floor. Step back to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale into your back bend. Press your legs down. Pull your shoulders back. Downward dog. And exhale. Warrior one, right foot forward. Left heel spins down. Inhale, come on up. And hands come down. Step back, plank. Lower on exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog. And let's give this down dog some time. So, ha, take an exhale. Breathe in and out of your nose. Feel your fingertips connected to the ground. Lift your hips right to the sky. See if you can feel your spine lengthen in opposite directions. Thighs press back, heels press down. So these are the details, you just want to breathe into them, settle into them. Now on inhale, you can raise your heels, bend your knees and hop forward, or you can walk or step forward, get to the front of your mat on exhale. Raise your toes, let's inhale into chair. Exhale into standing, or back bend if that's you, and then hands to heart. Let's do another chair, inhale. Shoulders down, exhale, forward fold. Hands on shins, inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back to high push-up pose. Hug everything to center, exhale, lower. Inhale into your back bend. Down dog on exhale. Left foot forward, right heel spins down. Inhale, warrior press down. Hands come down, step back. Exhale, lower. Inhale into your back bend. Use your legs. Down dog on exhale. Warrior one, right foot forward. Press down to inhale, rise up. Plank pose. Lower on exhale. Inhale. Shoulders get pulled down. Down dog, exhale. Down dog now. Find stillness. But notice how your breath makes movement. You can feel your spine move like a wave. On an exhale, you can let tension go. Maybe let your head be heavy. Hug your elbows in. Inhale, raise your heels, either 
Walk or hop forward into fold, chair pose. Weight is back on your heels, standing or back bend. Bring your hands to face forward. Stay still for a moment and breathe in and out of your nose. Okay, we're gonna do some standing flow. You can move your blanket if it's there. Um, let's start with elevator pose. Shift your weight to your left foot and raise your right knee. Now, you could just keep your knee here, um, hands to your hips, or you could interlace your fingers, and I go about an inch or two below the knee, and you just hold or hug the right knee in. And we're gonna do a warrior three. Um, take your hands to your heart, keep your knee up, spread your toes, and then pr press your foot back like you're pushing something away. Left knee will have a slight bend and your upper body is parallel to the ground. And then let's inhale, come back up. Yeah, you got this. And exhale your foot down. Shift your weight now to your right foot, raise your left knee, right? So you could stay here, you could Take a breath or two where you hug in, shoulders down. Now everybody hands back to your heart, spread your left toes and you know, push back, push back with your heel. You're pushing up a little bit, heart gently pushes forward, right? And then come back, nice, and release. All right, we're gonna do that again. Shift your weight to your left foot, inhale, bring your Right knee up, hug in, hug in. This time a little bit different. Take your left arm by your left ear and push your left knee or thigh, it doesn't matter, back with your, I'm sorry, this is your right knee or thigh with your right hand and we're creating just a little bit different version of warrior three. Right arm is reaching back, left arm is reaching forward. Bring your knee back up and exhale it down. Shift your weight to your right foot, raise your left knee, and bring your right arm by your right ear. Place your left hand on your left thigh, spread your left toes, reach back and up as you reach forward, and come back up, and exhale down. Beautiful. All right, separate your feet. This is for yoga mudra. Bring your arms out in front of you, turn your thumbs down. Take an inhale, reach your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, if you can, palms together, shoulder blades squeeze together, lift your chest, take an inhale, bend your knees, hinge at your hips, exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang, let your knuckles come forward. You can rock a little side to side or be still. Listen to what? you want, what soothes you. Your yoga should always be soothing. Even if it's challenging, it should have spaces in there where you're soothed. To come out, raise your toes, bend your knees. Inhale, come on up, lift up through your heart. Knuckles are reaching back and then release your hands. Palms face forward. Breathe in and breathe out. your hands to your heart. We're going to step back into a crescent warrior and we're going to step back with your right foot. So step your right foot back, land on all of your back toes, bend your front knee, square your hips. Now inhale, arms reach up, shoulders come down. We're going to take a twist here. So there's a couple of options. You can go back with your right hand on the floor and your left hand to the sky, or you can take your right elbow to the outside of your knee. Bottom hand is a fist, top hand is flat, and you bring the two together to the center of your chest and you twist. Top elbow to the sky. Full deep breath here will give you a massage in your organs, but you're looking for space. So breathe into the back of your ribs, maybe behind your heart. 
We're going to exhale, unwind this pose and step back into plank pose. Hug your elbows in. Let's take a side plank, left hand underneath your shoulder or your heart. You can come onto your left knee or roll onto the little toe side of your left foot and right ankle on left and you can always change this right hand to the sky. Raise your hips. Gaze could go up, neck could relax. Let's find downward facing dog. Shake your head out, hug your elbows in. Down dog, split left toes. Spread, inhale, reach your left foot up. Exhale, float your left foot forward. Bring it to the front of your mat. Bring your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then we'll come up to standing. Shoulders down and exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Other side, hands to your hips, step your left foot back, four feet, right? You land on your back toes, bend your front knee, inhale, let's reach your arms up. Raise your front toes, press forward through your right knee and back through your left heel. Take an inhale and on exhale, take your twist. So that could be left hand to the floor or left elbow to the outside of your knee. So if you have the elbow to the outside of the knee, you wanna press the two together. Bottom hand is a fist, top hand is flat. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Feel your top shoulder go back. Feel your chest roll open. Again, breathe into this pose. So even though there's restriction here, you want to open it up with breath. Unwind the pose. Bring your hands to the floor. Step back to plank pose. Hug your elbows in. We're going to take side plank on the right side. Right hand under your shoulder. Right knee could come down. Left hand to the sky. I like to flex my feet here so that really stabilizes the core. Lift your hips. High plank. Let's lower down. Set your knees down. Come all the way down. Make a pillow with your hands. Ah, turn your head to one side. And breathe. Breathe from pelvis to crown. So when I say core in yoga, what we mean is pelvis to crown. Let's do a boat pose. Forehead, chin or cheek on the mat, toes point back, hands reach back. On exhale, to stabilize the pose, press your pelvis down. Now spread your toes and fingers a little bit. Inhale, come on up into Navasana. And if you'd like, you could interlace your fingers and open up your chest. And that's just an option. You can always reach your hands back out into airplane. And we'll exhale. Come all the way down. Turn your head to one side. Bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under. We're going up into high plank. So you want to bring your center up at the same time you bring everything else up. And then downward dog. Hands don't move, but feet might. Take an exhale. Shake your head out. And let's go ahead and walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Take a forward fold. To come up, raise your toes, bend your knees. Inhale, come all the way up, shoulders down. And then exhale, hands to your heart or facing forward. And Bring your hands to your heart. For warrior two, step your right foot back four feet 
and bend your left knee. Drop your tailbone, lift through your core, right? From pelvis up through your crown, this is space. Inhale your arms out, exhale your shoulders down. So you wanna hear the sound of your ujjayi breath if you're practicing with that. And breathe in such a way that you're making space in your core as you ground through your legs. Let's take an inhale. Bring your arms out in front of you. This is for eagle arms. Take your left arm above your right. Hug your or you bring your elbows together. If that doesn't work, you can always give yourself a hug. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, shoulders down. Hug your navel in. Take an inhale. And then on exhale, we're gonna hinge at your left hip. Bring your left shoulder inside your left knee and let your head hang. If that feels too intense, bring your torso on your left thigh. Let's press down through our legs. Lift up through your heart as you come back up and then unwind your arms. And we'll take a reverse warrior. So right hand can go to your hip if you're lower back sensitive or even behind your belt line. Left knee is bent. Reach your left arm to the sky. You could arc your left arm over. Sometimes I like to just lift up and press into my back heel. And then we'll cartwheel our hands down. Step back into downward facing dog. Take an exhale here. Maybe more than one. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. Reach your left foot back and up, right? And then float it forward. So hug or hold your left knee high. We're gonna take fallen triangle. Bring your left foot and cut it across your mat, closer to your right wrist. And then you're gonna bring your feet down. Raise your right arm to the sky. On exhale, sit down in a wide angled forward fold. Fold over your back leg. Draw your left shoulder down. And then let's sit up tall. Bring your left hand outside your left hip. We're gonna go back, raise your right arm. We're gonna go back up into fallen triangle. So lift yourself up like you're light. <laughs> And then step back into three-legged dog. So that'll be your left foot reaching back and up. Float it forward. Bring your right foot forward. And let's inhale. Come all the way up to standing, look familiar. And exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do that on the other side. So we're going to step your left foot back, four feet, land in warrior two. Arms come out, drop your tailbone, and breathe. So no matter where you're going, whether now you think you know where we're going, so or if you're still feeling like that was unknown territory, just to breathe in and out of your nose. Assure your brain that you've got this, you do. For eagle arms, bring your arms out in front of you. This time it'll be your right arm across, either hug or garodasana arms. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, shoulders down, navel in. Take an inhale. On exhale, hinge. Come into your version of this pose. Maybe it's torso on thighs. If your shoulder's inside your right knee, let your head hang. Breathe in exquisite energy. Breath is you being generous with your own life force. Press down to come up. Yep. Unwind the arms, hug the navel in. Here's reverse warrior. So left forearm, I like to go behind the belt line and hug navel in. Front knee bends, right arm comes up, maybe you arc it over. Back leg is strong, press into your back heel. Back to Warrior two, and then cartwheel your hands down, and let's step back into plank pose. We're gonna lower all the way down for a boat pose. So come all the way down. You wanna clasp your hands right away. If you do that, see if you can keep your knuckles lifted, and you'll lift back through your knuckles. Everybody reach back through their toes, come up. Out. 
act of bravery these days to smile. It's important though. Exhale, release. Take a full exhale, let go. So much of yoga is about doing, but so much is about surrendering. And we're, we're ultimately, we're just surrendering to ourselves in the way we keep ourselves from feeling the feelings, right? The way we protect ourselves can eventually become a little jail-like. Let's take the plank pose. Hands under shoulders, tuck your toes, draw your navel in, lift your center just like you lift everything else. Downward facing dog. This time we're gonna go into fall and triangle. So right foot reaches back and up. Float your knee forward and come into your fall and triangle. Right, lift your hips and then sit down, exhale, fold over your back leg. Draw your right shoulder down. And let's come back up to seated, or I don't know if we were over here, let's come to seated. Bring your uh, left hand down, no, right hand down, left arm up, and we're gonna, we're gonna lift back up into our fallen triangle, and then take your three-legged dog, it'll be your right foot that goes back and up. Exhale, float it forward, step your left foot forward, and let's take an exhale here. Um, Malasana pose. Walk your feet out just about as wide as your yoga mat. Have your toes point out. Feet can be parallel if you're more open, but for most of us, toes point out, heels come down, and we're sitting in Malasana. You can always sit on blocks. So that's an option. Hands to your heart. Shoulders go back and down. And then we're going to come to seated. So come into seated. Let's take a forward fold. So soothing. Um, right, so maybe rock a little side to side. I like to reach for my big toes. You could reach for a tie, your ankles. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. You could stay here. Or exhale, fold. So notice here if you're holding tension, ungrit your teeth. Soften your face, your jaw, your belly, and then just breathe. Maybe you can go underneath the sound of your breath. I like to think of my ujjayi breath, that sound or that vibration like a pillow fort that I allow myself to surrender into or nest into. And then inhale, lift up through your heart, tall spine. Let's take a bound angle. So coming onto a blanket, if you have one, and again, it's not necessary. Soles of your feet come together. Inhale, lift your heart, and then exhale, hinge and fold forward. And inhale, lift up through your heart. We're gonna take a twist, extend your left leg out in front of you. You can either bring your right foot here or you could cross it over. You could keep this leg straight or bend the knee. We're gonna raise our left arm and you can hold on to the knee and twist or you can bring the outside of your elbow. If you do that, the hand waves. Right fingertips behind you, lift up through your center, exhale, Twist to the right. And this time use your breath to create space. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, maybe you'll get a little more twist. And 
Let's come back to center. We'll twist for one breath into the opposite direction. That's usually a nice feel good twist. Come back to center and we'll switch sides. Extend your uh, right leg, cross your left foot over or inside. You can bend the knee or keep the leg straight. This time it'll either be the crook of your right elbow or forearm or you can just bring your right elbow to the outside of the knee, fingertips behind you. Exhale, press down, inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, twist. Imagine that your breath is like embers in a fire and you're fanning the embers. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Take an inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side and then come back to center and come down onto your backs for Shavasana. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. But just take at least a few moments in Shavasana. And I know these videos have been perhaps shorter than the classes you're used to, but I just want to remind you that let it be enough, right? So much of our practice is knowing that we are enough. There is enough. You are perfect just the way you are right now. And you could stay with the ujjayi breath if you find that soothing, or you could let it go and come into your natural breathing. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Give you permission to stay here or awaken, but I want you to know that you have just what you need to move through the rest of your day or evening. So it's right there. Namaste.